in this video we are going to discuss fisher's linear displacement ratio we are going to understand the rationale behind this particular formula for graphs we are going to understand how to use it for variable selection and also at the end we will discuss the advantage and limitations of this particular technique so let's see by an example let's say there is a particular set of people who owns a sports utility vehicle and another who doesn't now suppose we are interested in finding the characteristics of the people who own suv so that tomorrow we can use these characteristics to design promotional program so that we do not miss out that set of people who own suv or who will be more prone to buy suv so fisher's linear discriminant ratio can be used here let's understand it by by this example more clearly let's call the group which owns suv as group 1 and the group not owning suv as group 2 now for each variable let's say variable like income so you will calculate mean income and variance of the income for group 1 which owns suv and mean and variance of the income which doesn't own suv that is for group 2 so essentially when you are calculating mean and variance of each variable let's say income age uh, height anything whatever you can think of and when when you calculate mean 1 minus mean 2 whole square by variance 1 plus variance 2 you get a ratio please note this particular value always will be positive because the upper term is square term and variance is always positive so this particular ratio has to be positive all the time and bigger the value of this particular ratio more predictive is the variable to predict to separate out one versus two or separate out group which are owns suv versus not owning suv or in other words it is capable of separating responder versus others now select those variables which are big we are having bigger value for this ratio and thus that's how you can do the variable selection this you rank order variables on descending order of descending value of fisher's ratio and select those variables which are having higher value of fisher's linear discriminant ratio now what is the reason behind using this particular thing this particular formula let's understand it graphically so this is case where series 1 and series 2 which are having mean 100 and standard deviation 2 and series 2 mean 103 and standard deviation 2 now you can see the shadowed portion which is the overlapping proportion now it is very clear that the moment the variance goes down you can see the overlap area here which was earlier such a big area of overlap has gone has reduced so in a way now when the variance goes down these two functions are separating out more than it was earlier and it will separate out even more the moment the mean separates more because you see here it has become 99 from 100 and this has become 104 from 103 and you can see the overlap area has reduced even further so that's how in a nutshell if the variance lesser the variance sum of variance more clear is the distinction and better the difference of the mean of the population two population there are the distinction between two sets so that the rational behind the fisher's ratio so what are the limitations advantage all those things it is applicable only for numeric variables you can't think of using it for character variables it can easily give very more suitable it can easily give you those variables which are more suitable for segmentation kind of work if you are stuck some time if your answer tree or chart doesn't work probably you can use this technique to select variables which will get which probably you can apply and shade or answer tree will work it is computationally less demanding that's how slightly faster than info value because in case of info value create first groups of groups for a numeric variable only you calculate percentage good percentage bad all this thing beware if there are huge percentage of missing either say for group 1 or group 2 the mean and variance that will be calculated will be only based on some few records so it might be quite misleading thanks for your time you may subscribe to this video